What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Medieval Engineers. Um, in the last episode, we were working on our drawbridge setup, which kind of worked, but was kind of broke at the same time. So we're taking another crack at it with some new theories. First of all, I took some advice from uh, the comments and got rid of um, the locking mechanisms down here because it was pointed out that somebody could uh, lock you out or in uh, because it would not allow the thing to rotate which is true I also added this which is a temporary fix I may end up changing it if I find it doesn't work right hold on yeah I love those windows pop-ups um, so yeah I've thought about doing angled blocks going this way I saw that in another build um, so if this doesn't work out but it's basically a stopper so it doesn't end up over here where the rope can't unwind it. It's to keep it from going too far back. Um, I also uh, kind of arched this, made it look a little different. Now, this was kind of tricky because obviously you put an arch block there and then we do wall blocks. Um, I say obviously and then I don't show the collision boxes. So you can see that it's a one thick, um, whereas this would be the, the blocks on the other, other, other cube. Um, but then the problem was how do we fill in the top part because it's going to add uh, the same problem up here, which you can see. Oh, crap. Okay. Whew. That was scary. So all I did, you can't really see it, which kind of works in the benefit, is um, I went ahead and put timber blocks in here. That kind of helps you see it a little bit. How I used um, these and rotated them like this and filled in the front and the side or front and back I mean and then I used timber to fill in the center so it, it, it looks good from the outside which is the important part um, now we come to the spindle thing which you'll notice is gone I re I'm redesigning it I want to tweak it a little bit um, so first I want to uh, I had I removed the latches thinking they were the problem and it turns out they're not so um, I do want to pay attention to the turning mechanisms, though I guess it won't really matter. It would just be one for each direction. So we're going to put one here, and then we're going to put one over here. And each switch should lock it in a different position. As you can see, the spindle's this way, and that one's going this way. So we should be able to lock it both open and closed, which is ideal, I suppose. So what I want to do is I would like to... What I, th what I think I want to do is go to one one uh, crank, and the reason for this I will show in a moment. Um, unfortunately, I do think that this is going to end up being an even-numbered space, so I may have to put either the crank being off-center or do two wheels, or uh, turn things. I don't know. We'll find out in a second here. If this... Yeah, see, that perfectly lines up. Um, which means if I do one smaller and then do the same over on this side, we're going to have a two-block gap. So I either need to put an end cap on one of these, which is doable, or for aesthetic's sake and for my own sanity of symmetricality. If that's a word. If it's not, it should be. It sounds fancy. I'm just going to put two there. Uh, which I... It worked in testing. Now it's not going to work. Come on. I literally didn't have a problem with this the first time I tried it, and now it's just being stupid. Maybe we won't. Maybe... Hold on. Maybe it has to do with how these are angled. Let's do one like this. Is this right? Maybe? It's still glitchy. Okay, so theoretically these are going to turn different ways, but there is one thing that I have found out, and you can watch the uh, engineer's hands here to see it. This way, I'm... Okay, the animation is actually completely wrong for the way he's turning that, but it's the exact opposite of what he's doing. 
Okay, that actually makes sense. So this way, we're going from bottom to top, right? So if we were looking from his right, this would be clockwise. Yeah. Now, if you hold Shift T, I'm going to be on the same crank. But now you'll notice the animation is going counterclockwise, and so is the spindle. So theoretically, we could do this with one crank, and just because this is so glitchy already, I may go ahead and do that. Just so that it doesn't get confusing. Even though this animation likes to flip out. By the way, I had some people say that it was third person that was really glitchy because your crosshair would slip off the the button. I don't know if they got that backwards and meant first person, but first person to me is very glitchy. Like this. Spasm! Woo! But see, I don't get that. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's just really glitchy. And then you get this one, where your character is actually in the way, and so it won't turn at all. And then you get this fun one that I didn't even know was a thing, and it's not going to do it now, because reasons. Um, I had one where I was running like this, and it was spinning this log, and it was making the thing go up and down, which was really funny. So I want to try this and see if it's less confused with one crank than it was with two, or if it's still just going to be derpy and be weird. The irony here is that it actually worked in terms of going... I mean, the original design that we did last episode, it actually worked going up, but then when you went down, it would go right, but then... Like, halfway down, it would turn around and go the other way. It was really odd. So we're turning. And I have had a glitch with that, f with those beams down there before that sometimes it still gets a little stuck. So I don't really want to go all the way up. That's good enough for our test. I'm going to try and stay a little bit a ways away and make sure I'm centered. Now, shift T. Please work. Please work. Nope. See? It goes halfway, and then it sticks. And it changes directions for no apparent reason. Okay, go down. Nope. Nope. Yeah, see, then it does this. Where it won't turn. Which is very lovely. So I'm guessing... I still have not been able to figure out why this happens. Why it won't turn at all. Actually, I can't even push it at this point. Um, yeah, I can't do anything. The only way I've been able to fix this is by cutting one of the ropes. And then it just wee plonk. So, yeah, this is... I pretty sure... I pretty sure. That's, that's my English for you. I pretty sure. Um, I'm fairly sure that this would work assuming they worked out the bugs that the crank system and rope system and all that stuff like if it actually got to the point where it was smoother and more ironed out and they kind of fixed the glitchiness of the whole uh, situation I think this would work I don't really know why the stopper points seem to glue it in place. I don't know if that's because it sees it as part of the voxels and so then doesn't think it's a movable object or what. Actually, I want to try it from over here. See if I can crank it all. See, no. It's always halfway and I don't know why. It's at halfway down and as soon as you get halfway the ropes stick and all of a sudden, it reverses and goes back the other way. And I have no, no idea why. None. Like, it makes zero sense to me. Um, there is... Actually, I'm kind of a derp. Yes, we're aware of this. We already know this. No one needs to say anything. Who? Okay. Okay, then. Sure. Um... Hmm, that was weird. No? You gonna stick? Okay. So there is one other thing that I want to try here before we move on to another project. And that is... Oops. Oh wait, this is too close. 
if we were to... Wait a minute, is it too close? Okay, what I'm thinking is if we put a pass-through block... Um... Let's see, like... This. If we put... Of course it's not gonna want... It's not gonna let me do it. Um... Oh! Oh! I never thought of that! What if we put a weight on it? Okay, before we do that, I don't I don't want to tear this thing apart uh, by putting a weight on it. So let's try let's try this idea first. If we put something like oh, we're gonna need to do this over here. Now, can I? I need to go a block higher. Or yeah, I think I think that's right. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm doing here is basically separating um, the two cranks instead of having a pipe run all the way across. And we're going to try it this way and see if it actually ends up improving things. So one... I think that's what I did. Beautiful. Uh, wait, are you connected? You did did you connect? Why are you no connect? Okay, that's weird. This one worked. It got all glitchy and connected. One, two, three. One, two, three. Huh. Woo. I am going to break this thing before I fix it. Um, let's see if doing it this way works. There we go. That was weird. Okay, so first things first, let's try this way. And see if you work. Ha! Ah! Ha ah, ha ha ha! Wait. Wait, now it's, now it's going backwards. See, I don't get why it's still not going all the way down, and I don't understand. This makes no sense to me. I'm really having to chalk it up to glitchiness. Oh, wait, no, that works. What the heck? I was re <laughs> I was really expecting that to blow a hole in the, in the thing. <laughs> okay, so that kind of works. Sort of. I don't know what this thing is doing. But it kind of works. Okay, and now if we do... Nope! Nope, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so we went from... You have to use them both to now all of a sudden this is a one crank thing with the other one being a dummy. Sure, makes perfect sense. This doesn't do anything. Oh wait! Now this one does something. So whichever one you crank it up with is the one that you have to bring it back down with. Oh, of course, halfway down. And then this one does the other way. What the heck is wrong with this game? <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, I'm gonna pause it just for a second. Okay, I just wanted to save that uh, before I ended up doing any more tinkering with it because that's actually somewhat functional in that it could work for us. Um, so I wanted to make sure I had a copy of that. Actually, I wonder if I could get away with placing this here. No? Not gonna let me? Darn. That would have been cool. Alright, so the other thing that I wanted to try before we completely sign off on the drawbridge thing here is adding a weight to it. I'm kind whoop oh, whoop oh, oh, where are you going? I'm kind of thinking oh and I didn't test this either. Ooh. Oh, did you see that tension? Look at that tension. <laughs> I broke it. I swear I broke it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, nope, not spinning at all. 
Can I can I fix it with you? Nope, can't fix it with you. There we go. So we can kind of fix it. Oh, dang. That scares me every time. So this stopper thing still doesn't really work. Like, it does stop it, and it doesn't, and you can take it back down, but you have to break the thing, which doesn't, it's not very effective, is it? Oh, look at that. Look at that thing. I'm gonna, I'm still gonna break this thing. Alright, so, what I want to try is adding weights to, like, the bottom. I don't really know where to put them, though. Because I want them, like, up here, but then that's gonna cause it to stick up like by a block. So let's try one, two, three, four, five. Let's do six back, maybe? Because I think thirty was our one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that didn't help at all. Uh, I'm gonna get dangerous here. <laughs> oh man. That doesn't seem smart at all. Oh, I heard that. Boom. Uh, oh, we're so close. We could just cut this back a little bit. We don't actually need to do that. Okay. Does the. Oh, wait. Is that doing the thing? Yes, look at this. I'm like a hamster on a wheel. No? No? Okay. I wanted to see... No, it's not letting it. I was gonna see if that would be one of those you could you could lock it up there, and then when you unlocked it, it would just... and crank down, but no. Nope, nope, nope. That's not how apparently these work. Whoa! Okay, then. That was different. Okay, so we technically have a working drawbridge at this point. It's not wonderful, and it's not perfect, uh, but it does work. And you might have to jump a little bit there, but we can actually fix that by... Um, actually, that would be perfectly level with another stone block, almost. Or another wood block, or whatever. You know what I mean. Um, now that I think about it, we could actually do, um, I wouldn't want to do it that close, but we could do something like this. Can I do one more? Can I get away with that? I just want to test my theory real quick here and see if we brought it out like that and tied them in. If I were up here, could I walk? Yeah! Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay. So that's kind of a project at some point. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to fix this to where we don't have to jump. So, we have our doorway here, so this is where we're going to enter through. So, the stable is not going to be this big. And I'm also probably going to change this, maybe. Um, alright, where are my barrels? Do I not have barrels? Nah, we don't need barrels. We can do it with uh, sticks, or timber, whatever. So let's start... Actually, we could tie it into the barracks over here. I don't think that would be a problem. Uh, just for symmetry's sake, let's start it on... or in, I should say. Let's start it in a block. Like that. Oop. Now... Let's run this out. Let's say 40. Boom. And of course we're gonna get 
get rid of most of these. Wait, what the... Where is this thing going? I'm so confused! What the heck? Just get rid of all of these. There we go. That was odd. Okay. So, we can get rid of these now. And we'll say... I'm not sure if it really needs to be out this far. But, you know, whatever. I guess it does. I mean, let's say... Here's a good measurement. We tied into that beam. So let's say this beam is where, like, the horse stall would actually be. Assuming we had horses. Oh, that would be cool if we had horses. Um, so if we did like that, it probably won't stay this way. But just for uh, example's sake, I guess. Let's just assume that this is like the doorway... And then, you know, these are like the actual pens kind of thing. I think that I think that would be a good way to do it. Did you just change? You did. Dang it. And, of course, this one we probably won't uh, need a wall wall, per se. And by a wall wall, I mean this. Because we already have the stone over here. Uh, sorry this episode is getting a little longer. I wanted to try and get done with the... What? You must be joking. Is there even room for a one block there? Wow. Wow. Really? Let's test that out over here. Um. Yeah, so I wanted to get the drawbridge fixed and functional, which it, 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 it is, I guess. Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. Oh, what? What happened here? How did I end up off by one? Wait a minute. This is in a block. Huh. Well, that's weird. Uh, I don't really want to break this by trying to make it a full... Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to break it. Okay. Gosh, this is gonna be tough to do. Gotta make sure it's in line with that. There we go. Not actually that tough to do at all. Wait a minute. Dang it. Okay, now we're cooking. Boom. Perfect. All right. So, got that squared away. Now, let's do... How about we do every... Uh, block here as another pen. Let's say you to that. I think that'll work swimmingly. And then, of course, one we could use for... Oh, hey, we could do a... Uh, we could get fancy and do a pergola. <laughs> no? Okay. Um... Nice! I like it. Now, just because we want this to be kind of cool looking, let's take out a couple here and a couple there. How's that? Don't worry, I'll fix it in a second. Now what we're going to do... I'm loving these timber blocks. These things are freaking epic. You can just do so much with them. I've got to start watching uh, B00's series on this because he's doing a, a build series on it, and I always love his builds. I bet he. I'm. I'm almost positive he's 
probably going crazy as soon as he found out about these and how you can work with them. He's probably just building all kinds of contraptions. I like that! You can kind of see the horses, say hi, they can stick their head out, eat apples, whatever, you know. So we're probably going to follow this structure here. Why does it seem like that's two? I don't know. And then we'll skip two. Oh, this is hard to do in the dark. One, two. And the bottoms will be there. One, two. Skip two. My Lou, my darling. Uh, and again, I think this should be okay because this will be a wall. So then we're going to flip this. Go back to... Are these all the same length? I think they are. I think it's about like that. Oh, that's weird. Did that go where I wanted it to? Yeah, okay, it's kind of like in the floor. Oh, that's funky. I'm gonna have to do these bottom ones first. Because they're so touchy. Wait. What just happened there? I don't know what I just did, but I don't think I... I don't think it was what I wanted to do. There we go. That's better. Okay. Does that line up? Perfect. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay. Now, of course, we can go back. Why am I still in that view? Um, we can go back and put these part... Th these part... Wow. This part in. And we're just going to do each... Wait a minute. Yeah. Each new block. Or I should say... Each one on a different block. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Wait a minute, what the? How did that happen? My whole beam is off. Great. That's just peachy. Wait a minute, so are these. I don't feel like these are all lined up. Maybe they are. Maybe it's just my imagination. Wait, that one's off too. Dang, Nabbit. This is what I have. This is what happens when you build in the dark. You can't see what the what the heck you're doing. <sighs> That's okay. This one's off anyway. Apparently. These two look right. They're just in the wrong spot. Awesome. Alright, so I'm going to fix that and then wrap this up because holy cow, we are getting. This is way too long of an episode. Sorry about that. I completely lost track of time. All right, so we're going to wrap things up here. On that note, in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!